Paloi and Dino. And Dino needs to finish this one. The biggest change I've seen in Paloi is simply confidence. My first two years, they were like beyond humbling. They were kind of like depressing. I mean, he stormed through the amateur ranks like Godzilla. He went through the WQS, 17 years old, like King Kong. And then after a few bad results on the CT, he lost his momentum. Nat and John John and Gabriel, they were like in the top 10 right away, where I was thinking, will I ever be there? He lost the belief in himself that he could beat the best in the world, that he was one of the best in the world. I just looked weak, and I looked like one of those like kids that was like going to be good when he gets older. <laughs> the challenge is adjusting equipment to the WCT level. That was paramount. The boards were designed for building speed rather than controlling speed, so he couldn't really lay into them and do what he wanted. I wanted to become like a man, like real quickly. Ultimately, that's kind of like what it comes down to on this, the judging on tour is like how much spray you throw. In Chloe's case, everything came together last year for him at, at the right time. He got stronger, uh, he's more mature, he's a little bit older, he's been around for a couple of years now, he knows all the spots, he's strong enough, he's powerful enough, he has all the bag of tricks, he has everything. Now he's got that swagger back. He's not going to win every heat, but he believes he can win every heat.